we welcome you all to Cebu Technological Ardal Campus. So, of course, this university is located in Cedro Quintana Street here in Labakan, Ardal. And now, everyone, let's immediately begin our tour. Come on! but in Cebuano we call it the Balaiks Alumni. So in this area everyone I want you to know that this alumni house or Balaiks Alumni this is where the area where they hold meetings, conferences and other gatherings. This is the venue where they aforementioned the Balaiks Alumni. So now after the Balaiks Alumni we will be moving on to the Kahimsug Center. So beside the alumni of Balaiks Alumni here in the Himsug Center. So everyone, I want you to know that the Himsug Center here in the university is promoting uh, holistic well-being and also combining the physical and mental health to your resources. It is a manifestation to the love of City or Dao Campus through their care to the students, teachers, and employees of City or Dao. So after the Himsug Center, everyone, we will be moving on to SSDLP Loop. students receive comprehensive training within the college, of course, and also sub-organizations such as Southern Rifles Sub-Publication, Electrical Office, ROTC Office, and the CWPS Office in which the academic. So this education is the adjacent of the Science and Technology Building, which is the other building, of course, the Mead Building Homes Cade Offices, which they include Cashier Office, Supply Office, register office and the MIS office. And on the second floor, which is in the other building, you will find there the administrative office and also the known as the campus director's office and the human resources management office. building. So we are here now at 
the Science and Technology Building, which is the first floor houses in the extension office and undergraduate studies along with the, along with the classroom for the Industrial Engineering Department and the IE office and the SAS office. Moving up to the second and the third floors, you will find there is a classroom designated for the College of Arts, Arts and, Arts and Sciences, which is the BAEL, Ballet, and the BS side. Notably, the third floor was the old library when renovation and transformation into classrooms. So the library was relocated within the university due to the lacking of some facilities. After this, we will be moving forward to the Stadio Mahapagal building. So beside the SciTech building, we have here Stadio Mahapagal building. So this building, a structure belonging to the College of Arts and Sciences and also the College of Education, has been restricted due to the well cracking prioritizing safety to ensure that there will be occupants have been located to an alternative building so they plan to propose a four-story structures are underway to replace the new building. Moving on to the site building, we are here now at the CTU Oval, which is this is the hot spot on the campus. The CTU Oval is not only for sports training ground, but also it is also for practice, for performances, and it doubles our gathering spot for uh, students during the ceremonies, intramurals, and significant events held the school here at the grounds. Here now at the new library, and this li new library ensures that all the students and staff can gather a lot of information or ideas in the book of course. And this library, in this library is air conditioned, safe and ambient sphere, makes students more comfortable and enjoyable while they are studying. We walk here in the agriculture department, the healthy green leaf and vegetables around us in our various lights, adjacent to this are the mini poultry farms serving to the both consumptions and the profit purposes. So this positive initiative contributing to the university's improvement and is a two-story building for classrooms for agriculture students donated by the local government unit of Ergao. Moving on, the Center for Studies in Biodiversity, which focuses uh, in innovation, creating various products like bread, pastries, seaweed, and more. So, all UMD for protection, the, the biodiversity serve as a source of pride for CTU, which gaining popularization and creating a name. So, here's the fun fact that other universities are racing to secure protection for utility models to prevent unauthorized replication. Moving on, we are here in the cafeteria, which is beside the Kalambutan gym. So this ball clean cafeteria attracts numerous students with its array of delicious and portable foods and snacks. Also making it a popular spot at the campus, in the cafeteria we have here the old plastic ball cart. So we are here now at the Kalam Pusan Gym, which this is freshly polished and with air condition. And this city of gymnasium primarily supports the students' physical well-being, most important events, and services as a space for various activities, including the indoor sports. We are here in the coffee building, which is in the first floor. We have here the fabrication laboratory and garments. The second floor, we have the BIT Comtech on the, on the second floor. Well, the third floor, we also have the BSIT. The floor, we have the forestry and the environmental science. Here, right beside the Hopi building, we have over there the job in there. Management and tourism due to the lack of the facilities. 
a line from the top. So we have here the College of Hospitality Management and Tourism, which consists two programs, which is the Bachelor of Hospitality Management and the Bachelor of the Tourism Management. So we have here the mini hotel, which students learn and practice their skills. And then over here, we have here the kitchen among other facilities. And lastly, we are here on the Argo, which an art to skill the unique to the area and is being derived by the city of AC. And this wine crop does not only preserve the heritage but also provides the income for the locals. And this sleep was worn by the city students during their graduation is a testament to their effort. And that concludes our tour here in Cebu Technological University, Argao Campus. Thank you for joining me and bye.